Hey everyone! ChatGPTaylor aka Taylor here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be a continuation of a video that I made a few weeks ago where I talked about what each remaining camper would need to do in order to win this Venture Camp All-Stars. Now that Connor is back in the game due to winning the comeback competition in episode 11, I decided that I might as well go over what I think Connor needs to do in order to win the season. Do I think he'll win the season? Honestly, no. Even though there's a way for him to be involved in every remaining plot point, Connor doesn't really need to win the show considering that he has a very successful perfume company. However, that's not going to stop me from trying to outline the 5 steps that I think he needs to follow in order to win the show. And with that, let's get started. Before I begin, make sure to like and subscribe if this video is to your liking, and make sure to comment down below if there's anything that you would like to see going forward. Let's start by getting the obvious step out of the way. Step 1. Get the Heroes Alliance to work together. This was a step that I suggested for Ashley to follow in my previous video about this topic. But now that Ashley is gone, Connor needs to step up and be the one to pull the heroes together. Yes, this is easier said than done. But I don't think Connor will survive long if the heroes continue getting picked off one by one. So, Connor needs to take charge and figure out how to bring this fractured group of campers together. The first thing that Connor needs to do is get Jake in the right mindset. Ashley already did a lot of the legwork in this objective, so Connor just needs to finish the job. Jake knows that he needs to change, and maybe Connor can help him connect the dots and figure out how exactly he can change. Between getting Jake to make a genuine apology and proving his changed mindset to Tom, Aiden, and Ali, there's a lot for Connor to cover. Don't get me wrong, I still think that Jake needs to make a big move to prove his willingness to work with Tom, Aiden, and Ali. I just think that Connor might be the person that Jake needs to make him realize this. It'll be tough, but I think Connor would be up for the challenge. After all, Connor had to put up with Rhea for a year, so putting up with Jake shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe Connor could reference the conversation that he had with Alec back in episode 3 of this season. To paraphrase what Alec said, you can't make people change, Connor. Unless they want to change, they will always be this way. That might be enough to get Jake to realize that he needs to actively make moves to change instead of relying on others to push him to do it. As for the other three heroes, Connor just needs to keep them open-minded to Jake's attempts to change. I know that it won't be easy, and I think Jake still needs to show that he's changed using his actions, but Connor could help Prime Ali, Tom, and Aiden so that they fully see that Jake is willing to change. If Aiden says something like, Connor, you have no idea what Jake is like. You can't reason with someone as annoying as him. Then Connor can retaliate with something like, Trust me, I know how to deal with annoying people. I had to put up with Rhea for a year. Knowing Aiden's current opinion of Rhea, this connection might make Aiden more willing to trust Connor regarding Jake's current mindset. And if Aiden is more willing to listen, that might make Tom and Ali more willing to listen. This allows Connor to bridge the gap between the heroes. And although this doesn't fix everything, it's a step in the right direction. Bringing together the heroes would allow Connor to accomplish step 2. Target Yul and Rhea. I know that Rhea has immunity so Connor can't eliminate her right away, but it's clear at this point that Connor considers Rhea to be a lost cost. Even if Connor ends up seeing Rhea defend Brett against Yul, I don't think it would be enough to make Connor change his mind about Rhea. So, I do think that Connor needs to get Rhea out as soon as he can, since that relationship is likely beyond repair. To buy him time while Rhea has immunity, Connor needs to take a shot at Yul. Yul and Connor don't have a positive relationship, harking back to season 2 when Connor disagreed with Yul's attitude. And considering that Yul still thinks that Connor voted for him in episode 4 of season 3, Connor needs to make the most of his immunity win by taking out Yul. This might sound weird, but Connor might benefit from just letting Yul run his mouth. Even if Yul continues to say heinous things, that might work to Connor's advantage. If Yul is left to say outrageous statements without someone there to stop him, it might annoy enough people to the point where they would vote him out just to have some peace of mind. And if this happens, it would give the heroes the majority that they need to control the game. Of course, even if Connor gets rid of Yul and Rhea at the next two elimination ceremonies, Connor could still end up being targeted for being the glue that's holding together the heroes' alliance. So Connor will have to do more than just eliminate the people who want him out the most. This leads into the next step. Step 3. Form connections with other campers in the game. All things considered, Connor is a pretty good guy. Unless you're Yul, it's not hard to get along with someone like Connor. So, Connor should use this trait to his advantage by forming connections with other campers. That way, when all of the bigger personalities are out of the game, he'll still have people on his side that are willing to keep him in. And there are a few ways that Connor can do this. One way for Connor to do this is to help Gret realize the importance of appreciating yourself for who you are. In Season 2, Connor's arc centered around him realizing that he needed to accept himself for who he is, rather than try to be something he isn't just for the approval of others. And I think Gret would benefit from having a conversation with Connor about this. So far this season, Gret hasn't really done that much other than being yelled at by Yul. 
I think a lot of the community is waiting for Gret's personal arc to continue, and having a deep conversation with Connor could be the catalyst needed to finally kickstart a new story arc for Gret. On top of making Gret feel better about herself, receiving this help could make Gret view Connor in a better light, making her more inclined to keep him in the game. Another way for Connor to form a connection would be for him to help Tom and Jake finally resolve their feelings towards each other. On Tom's side, Connor can help him recognize that life is too short to be scared all the time, and that on certain specific occasions, it's better to put yourself out there to get your answer. Connor could reference the conversation he had with Alec back in episode 4. Connor said that he always wanted to have kids, but he was afraid that it would confirm that he was getting old, and that now he's living with regret. That connection could be what gives Tom the bravery to resolve his feelings with Jake. And on Jake's side, Connor can acknowledge that Jake's frustration with Tom is somewhat valid, but note that emotion can make people do stupid things, which may make Jake reflect on his own actions and better understand where Tom is coming from. And to top it off, Connor can tell Jake the same thing that Alec told him in their episode 4 discussion. The best thing you can do is to find someone who wants the same thing as you do. This might be enough to get Jake to realize that him and Tom are after the same thing. Neither one of them wants to get hurt again, and that realization can allow both of them to fully resolve their feelings towards each other. The aforementioned suggestions would allow Connor to increase his likability and increase the likelihood that he will be kept in the game. However, this only looks at Connor's safety from an emotional standpoint. How can Connor keep himself safe from a strategic standpoint? That's where step 4 comes in. Step 4. Emphasize your stability. Connor might not be one of the most exciting campers left in the competition, but I would argue that he's one of the easiest to predict. And that predictability could be a reason why people would want to keep him in the game. Why keep someone volatile like Jake or unpredictable like Gabby when you can keep someone like Connor? Connor is less likely to make decisions based on emotion. Therefore, you can expect that when he has his mind made up, it's not going to change based on how he's feeling at any particular moment, making it easier to anticipate his next moves. Of course, you could make the argument that it's better to keep people like Jake and Gabby in the game since they are easier to manipulate. However, if it's easy for you to manipulate them, it's just as easy for others to manipulate them. You could go to Jake and tell him that you're loyal to him so that he'll vote with you, but someone from the opposing alliance could just as easily tell him a lie that would make him flip on you. That kind of uncertainty could be your downfall if you're not careful. So, it might be better to keep someone who will give you a bit more certainty in your plans, like Connor. Additionally, being calm and collected might make people keep Connor around for the sake of reducing stress. For example, it's no secret that Yul isn't a very pleasant person to be around. If someone views Connor and Yul as being equally threatening to their game, they might end up voting Yul out first simply because he's more of a headache to be around than Connor is. Having some certainty in knowing that Connor will be an easier person to be around at camp might be enough to get some of the campers to save him. And considering how often the campers this season fight with each other due to their clashing personalities, Connor could reap the benefits from emphasizing his calmer personality. This could get him far, possibly to the finale, which would then allow him to tackle the final step. Step 5. Utilize your physicality. In the past, I didn't really view Connor as a physical competitor, considering how back in Season 2, he was one of the last people to finish the foot race during the season premiere, and he struggled to pull Rhea up the mountain in Episode 12. However, the most recent episode has shown that Connor is capable of being a physical competitor. This could come in handy if Connor ever needs to win an immunity challenge. Or more notably, it could help Connor if he ends up competing in the final challenge for the $3 million prize. If we look at the past two finale challenges, both contain some sort of driving element. Season 1 required the finalists to drive a go-kart, while Season 2 required the finalists to drive a motorcycle. Well, Episode 11's challenge showed that Connor is at least capable of driving a motorcycle at a decent speed, so if this season's finale is consistent with the previous two, Connor should be able to hold his own in a driving race. Similarly, both of the previous finales had an underwater section in their respective final challenge. And this season, Connor showed in the scuba challenge that he's at least confident enough to dive underwater and get a clue, so he probably wouldn't run into the same problem that Rhea did back in the season 2 finale. And based on the triathlon challenge, Connor is at least a decently fast swimmer. Notably, he was able to maintain the distance between him and Ashley during the swimming section, which I think is impressive, considering how athletic Ashley seems to be. But the most important aspect of Connor's physicality that I think could really help him in the final challenge is his strength. Connor showed some impressive feats of strength in episode 11, including how he climbed up a rope to the top of a high cliff, and how he dragged Rhea off a cliff with him so he could paraglide to the finish line. Strength isn't everything, but against the right people, it could give Connor the edge that he needs to win. For example, based on the story arcs that are being presented, I think it's likely that Jake ends up in the finale, and Jake isn't known for his physicality. Therefore, if Connor has to face Jake in the finale, Connor might actually stand a chance purely based on physicality. 
So all things considered, if Connor follows the right steps, and the right people are in the finale with him, it's not unrealistic to say that Connor could win the season. Will the story allow him to win the season? Probably not. It's possible for a returning camper to win the season, but I'm not sure it will happen this time. But if it's not impossible, then there's a chance. And a chance is all that Connor needs to break the trend and win the season for himself. And that about does it for this video. What did you think of the video? Do you agree with my thoughts? Do you disagree? Do you think Connor could win the season? If so, what do you think he needs to do in order to win? Either way, please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like the video, click subscribe if you really like the video, and for some ending words of wisdom. If you go to the gym, never skip leg day. Because you never know when you might need to carry a motorcycle and run up a hill. Thank you, and farewell.